almost became a doctor, did Darren O'Day. It was that close. Talked with him before the ball game today. I said, you have referred to yourself as a scientific geek. How about that? I enjoy science a lot, and uh, I, don't, I don't mind being called a geek. Yeah. Um, that's fine with me. Periodic tables you, you uh, take a look at once in a while? I do. I uh, actually read a book um, basically about where the periodic table came from, how it's evolved over time, and um, how scientists could tell there were gaps in it, that there were elements they just hadn't discovered yet, and they just had to figure out a way to find it. And kind of how the, the periodic table has changed and what a beautiful invention it was to, to start with. Darryl, where do you think that came from, that interest? Um, you know what? I used to get in trouble a lot when I was a little kid. Um, you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And I would get uh, grounded. And my punishment was staying in my room, which was fine because my parents always bought, a big pile, bought me big piles of books, mostly on science. And when I was grounded, I would read them a lot. That was the only thing I had to do in there. So uh, I did a lot of reading when I was little, and it just kind of sparked my curiosity. And I've always enjoyed it. How close did you come to a medical career? Um, well, if I hadn't been so lucky to get through the minor league so quickly, I would have been a little closer. I got, you know, I, I took my MCAT, and I had three years to find out whether I wanted to play baseball or whether I wanted to go back to med school because the score would expire. And... Uh, luckily, by the time my score was about to expire that summer, I was in Anaheim in the major leagues. So I kind of decided I had to give this baseball thing a shot. And if I really wanted to go back to med school, I could go back and take the test again. Would you do it? Um, you know, I keep my, my teammates keep telling me I'm old. So uh, I guess 32 is pretty old now. And I, I, I don't think I would. Um, you know, it's just it takes so long, as it should. To become a, a you know a full full uh, fully accredited surgeon that it would be so late in my life uh, I, I you know I would spend a lot of time with my kids hopefully and uh, and do something else. The name uh, O'Day uh -huh. identifies you obviously as a baseball player, but your family history is a little different. Tell us about it. Yeah, you know um, every St. Patty's Day I'm living a lie, Gary. Uh, <laughs> You know, O'Day is a strong, traditionally Irish name, and every St. Paddy's Day, I get harassed. I always seem to pitch in spring training. I get harassed. Oh, O'Day's probably still drunk or already drunk, you know. So. And I turn around and tell them I'm not Irish, and uh, they don't get it because my last name says O'Day, but my my uh, my dad and his brother, both when they got married, their respective wives, they both changed it. My Our real la original last name was Odachowski, which is... Uh, it's Polish and pronounced the proper way. It's Odahowski. So you can see how um, you might get O'Day from Odahowski. And uh, they change it to a long story and it's going into my grandparents. But uh, that's, that's what I'm, I have now. And, you know, it goes a little better when I come into a game O'Day than Odachowski. I, as a broadcaster, can I just say thank you very much to your family? <laughs> All right, let's do a baseball question. How about the bullpen? It's been a little tough start for them in terms of the numbers. What do you think? Yeah, I think, um, you know, every game is important. Every inning is important. Um, but I think uh, coming out of spring training, there's always some funny things that happen right at the very beginning. Um, there's always some adjustments guys are still making. Some guys are... You know, they were starters for spring training or they were kind of moved around and it takes them a minute. Um, so I would say give us a few more games. We're, you know, we're getting back on track and uh, we'll be right where we were last year.